This is my inscription card pack, which I made look like it's very old by using some techniques with spraying coffee onto paper. Before we start, do you spray coffee outside on your balcony and have all your neighbors look weird at you for the rest of your life? Or do you spray in the shower, risking having it smell like coffee for hours after you're done? Think about it. To fill my bottle with coffee, I'll be using this makeshift funnel, which is a party hat that I stripped off some decorations of and cut open the bottom. If you have a proper funnel, you should probably use that. Uh, I'm spilling and wasting a lot of coffee here. And there we go. I can spray coffee. I decided that I did not want my neighbors to ask themselves if they lived next to a lunatic, so I opted to use my shower. Now, let me give you an example of what an amateur would do. Here we have multiple amateur mistakes. Paper flat to the ground, wearing bright ordinary clothes, spraying with a hard beam. First off, the clothes. Very simple, except not. You'll get coffee on your clothes. Uh, my suggestion is to not wear clothes at all, but if you are doing this outside, then maybe wear some shorts or already dirty pants. If I wasn't filming this, I'd just be in underwear and nothing else. But I'll be wearing sport shorts because they are short and comfy to move in and YouTube. The reason why we don't want a hard beam is because it will centralize the coffee spots, which will make the spots much darker. To get an even color across the page, we would need to spray the rest of the paper with as much coffee, making the paper just look brown, not old. At that point, we might just dip the paper in coffee entirely. Instead, we adjust the tip to get this soft brush-like spray. Keep in mind that some large droplets of coffee might fall out underneath the tip, so remember to not hold the spray can directly over the paper when spraying. If the paper lies flat when wetting it, excess coffee will take more time to evaporate and the end result will be a much more uniform finish with sharp edges, which is not what I want. Instead, we improvise an offset. This I made with some zip ties, but you can use whatever you have as long as it's thin and has little contact surface with the paper. It keeps the paper in the air, or rather it keeps any excess coffee from sticking to the ground. With all the mistakes explained, let's see how a more seasoned coffee sprayer sprays on some paper in their shower. After letting it dry for a short while, this is the results. It has this gnarly texture to it, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I did accidentally shoot some droplets on the page, which causes these crater looking spots. You can also see that the edges of the paper did touch the floor, which ruined the effect of it. We could let it slide. Or we 3D print a model standoff in Blender and print multiple of them using this 3D printer from this video sponsor, Creality. As always, I don't have any talking points, but it's their cheapest alternative and I'm very happy with it. Link in the description, moving on. Let's redo this with proper paper holding equipment. Carefully place the paper onto the holders and spray some coffee. Don't forget the backside. If you're not sold on the spraying on paper, let me show what happens when you dip the paper in coffee.
The end result has a much more smooth finish, which is not something that I want. The camera doesn't really do justice on how it looks in real life, but trust me that they do look different. Also, I didn't notice this when I was dipping the paper, but the entire backside like didn't get covered in coffee, which is really weird. Uh, just keep that in mind if you do use this approach. Decide which side will be on the inside. Usually decide which looks the worst. Then we're going to use this shape cutout, which when folded becomes a card pack. This one is available for free in a free post on my Patreon. You don't have to give me money to get it, but you still have to go there. Ha. Here I trace the shape after staining the coffee, but you could trace it before staining the coffee if you want to. The paper gets a little bit wobbly, which makes it a bit harder. One thing to mention is that this pack is designed for in-game inscription Act 1 cards, which means the size is adjusted for bridge size cards. If you printed your cards with my PDFs and have a black border, you have to scale up the shape a bit to take that into account. test fitting the cards and they fit pretty well. And that is the hard part done. All that's left is the string that goes around. I couldn't find any string when recording this, I just took some from my old card pack, but hopefully you figure out how to tie the string around itself. And now you know how to make your own card pack. To be honest, you don't really need to stain the paper with coffee. You could use tea instead. Alright, thanks. Leave a like, thanks. Hope you liked the video, enjoyed the video. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Before I end the video though, I do want to dedicate this last part of the video to a friend of mine who came by while I was setting up the recording and decided to do this.